This is a nightmare of crossing the border. Take the check of the postal order. Letters for the rich. Letters for the poor. Let's talk. Shop at the corner of a girl next door. Pulling up beat talk. A steady clap. The gradients. I get the disease of time. Pass coat to grass. And Merlin boulder. Shoveling white steep over her shoulder. Snorting noisily as she passes. Silent miles of wind. Wind bent grasses, birds turn their heads as she approaches. Stare from bushes at, at her back, face coaches. Sheep, dogs, cannot turn her cross, face on her with, with paws across. In the farm, she passes no one. N wicks, but a jug in the bedroom gently shakes. Dawn fashions, her crime is done. Down towards the skull, she descends. Towards the steam tugs yelping down a glade of cranes. Towards the fields of apparatus. The morning is set on a dark plain like gigantic chessmen. All Scotland wait for her. In dark glades. Beside pale green lodges. Men long for news. Letters of thanks. Letters of bags. Letters of joy. Le for from girl or boy, received it bills and invitations to inspect new stock or to visit relations and applications for situations and to meet lovers, declarations and gossip, gossip from all the nations, new circumstantial, new financial letters with holiday snaps to enlarge in, in letters with faces scrolled up in the market, letters from uncles, their cousins. At odds, letters to Scotland from the south of France, letters of condolence to highlands and long lands, written right on paper of every hue, the pink, the violet, the white and the blue, the chatty, the caddy, the boring, the dory, the cold and official at the hearts, it's out pouring, clever, stupid, long, short and long, the typed and the printed and the spelt all wrong. Thousands are still asleep, dreaming of terrifying monsters, or an e friend, or of friendly tea beside the bed in Cranston's or Crawford's. Say, a sleep in walking, Glasgow, a sleep in, well set, Edinburgh. Burr, burr, uh, a asleep in granite, Aberdeen. They continue their dreams, but shall wakes in <gasps> for letters, and now we'll hear the postman's knock without a quickening of a heart. For who can be up to feel himself forgotten? Lame, lame, I. Uh.